been load shedding free for more than 300 consecutive days, but the energy crisis is far from over. The Western Cape wants to become less dependent on ESCOM through its energy resilience program. We put an incentive uh, scheme out there saying to small municipalities, we'll put the money in, you come up with an idea, who can get this to market the quickest? And uh, the Hesekwa municipality were one of the municipalities that came in and they won the bid. It was in May a year ago that we were here at the announcement. Here we are after getting the processes of procurement, uh, of getting the EIAs done, all of those administrative processes done and we're now at the stage where the construction is going to start to happen. And this is a 210 million rand investment which will make this the first small town in terms of their budget size, I um, must state, that will be totally non-dependent on ESCOM within a three-year cycle. Uh, this will be a solar plant and a battery storage. The two will work together. It's going to just going to be slightly just under 20,000 solar panels, but it's currently a barren piece of land will house 20,000 um, solar panels. And ultimately, you know, we're looking forward to this. It's an historic moment for this community, for this municipality, for the Western Cape, I think importantly for South Africa. The province is leading the way in energy innovation. This is not just a national issue. We all have to take hands if we're going to resolve the energy crisis in this country. So what they did was they established an energy council, put somebody with a wealth of knowledge and understanding and forward thinking at the helm of that. And through that, they have developed a plan and a program that they are, that they are rolling out. They have a clear uh, timelines that they want to adhere to, they have clear objectives that they want to adhere to and I think more than any other province the Western Cape has demonstrated a willingness to, to take the initiative and to, to get themselves established as an energy secure province. The solar farm will ensure an uninterrupted power supply to the town and is already attracting more investment and development opportunities. It means a lot to us, uh, the, the people is very excited to, to for, for this project uh, in uh, it will help us uh, for economic development in work uh, and it, it will mean a lot to us here. Yeah. The first phase is expected to supply power to local businesses by the start of next year and after three years it should be rolled out to all residents of the Hesequa region. Tanya Krauser, SABC News, Riversdale in the Western Cape.